guys so i'm starting off day was it 14 yeah i think so 14 with my good clean sink the red kind of you know misconceived and stuff but this is my sink this morning looking real nice and clean loves it so i am dressed to lace up shoes this morning so i know last night i said i was gonna wear that dress but i got up this morning feeling like i didn't want to wear the dress so i didn't wear the dress so let me show you my outfit of the day so you guys can see that i'm dressed to my work shoes so i have on this sorry it's like flowy top lighting in here is ridiculous this flowy top with those jeans i showed you in my flats and i like this top because it's a high low and it has ruffles in the back it's so cute i love this shirt y'all see those ruffles yes love it so it's really you know good and friday business casual so this is the state of my closet it's still the same i haven't changed anything from last night besides that purple dress hanging there oh when i messed up my shirts i need to fold them up when i get home because i thought i was gonna wear a denim shirt but i didn't because i forgot i have to go to the ceo's office today so i need to be a little more business casual than i want to be my hot spot is still clean so i did that what are you doing and then my two minute hot spot is gonna be my desk this morning so we're just gonna take about five minutes Throw it away here. Since you stand all up in my door, throw this away. Go ahead and then straighten up my area. So that's my hot spot this morning. This is my juice, so I'm keeping it. Now we're just gonna sort of like throw our bed together. And so we're supposed to get dressed to lace up shoes, do our hot spot, five minute room rescue. I don't have to do room rescue because my room was rescued this morning. 15 minute declutter will be tonight. And then we're supposed to read an essay about using our calendar. So I will read that up and you guys read it as well. And we'll discuss it when I get home from work. I hope you guys have an awesome Friday, and I'll see you this evening for day 14. All right, bye. Hey, you guys. So I'm back for day, what day are we on? Are we on 14? I think today is day 14. Yes, day 14. So we're back for day 14. I am currently in my den, and I'm going to continue the home decor declutter. So let me explain why I'm so late because it's like 6.50. I got off work early today because I had to have an MRE, which is a um, something imaging enterology, some shit like that. I don't know. And if y'all don't know, if you're new to my channel, I have Crohn's disease. So every six months I have to get an MRE. And the medicine that they pump me with and the stuff that I have to drink and the time I have to go without eating just makes me really, really sick after those tests. So I um, was feeling really bad and I didn't think I would be able to do today, but I ate a little soup and that's why I have, that's why you guys saw that soup in my closet because the soup, sa it saves the sister like that. Some about that salt and that just like, you know, chicken broth is just really, really good for my stomach and I drank some ginger tea. Ginger helps my stomach too. Um, so the good thing about it is I did have surgery last year if you guys don't know and I have a whole Crohn's story like playlist. So if you wanna know about more about my Crohn's disease, I have a playlist on that, but that's not why we're here. Um, I've been doing really good, but it's just those tests just make me so sick. It just does, I don't know why. Other people don't have any problem, but it just drains me. Um, so I've got, um, I think I finished there about two and I came home and I just went straight to sleep because I just felt so bad. So I came home and went to sleep. So now I'm feeling a little bit better. I have enough energy, not too much, but enough energy to tackle this den. So I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a before of what my den looks like. And uh, we don't spend too much time in here, even though we probably should, but I don't. So this is what my den looks like. This is from the door. So over here, 
Then we had the little couch, then we had the two bookshelves and the fireplace, and then that's my mom's stuff, TV, and then I have my treadmill in here. So this is what the den looks like. So a lot of the decor stuff, um, like this stuff is my mom, so I can't touch it. Um, of course, I'm not going to touch these things because people still live here. Probably my, mo my mom moves out. I'm getting rid of these lamps and these tables and this couch because you see it's a nasty mess. Like, it's just, it just had it. And um, this is my fireplace area. I rarely use it. Sometimes we use it in the summertime. I mean, the wintertime, but not often. And I feel like if I declutter my house and get this room like I want it, then in the wintertime, you know, me and the kids, we can actually come in here and be cozied up and watch movies because we love to watch movies. And I have a big enough TV to watch movies. No, it's not a big flat screen, but it works just fine for what I want it to do. So I don't have a problem. Plus, y'all, it was free. This big ass TV was free and it plays it really, really well. So I'm game with that. So I have decor here and then I have decor here and then I have stuff inside of these cabinets and they gotta go. So I'm just gonna set y'all up on a tripod and just get to the cutter. And I don't have a box, so what I'm gonna do is just put everything out on the floor and then sort through it. So let's get started. Right, you guys so this is all the stuff I pulled out I have two of these little buckets I think since I know what how I'm gonna change my house I think this one may be more suited sorry for my foot this one may be more suited than that one but I might keep them both because I can still use them both and then I have some sentimental items that'll go in my sentimental pile and I have sentimental these are my college degrees well yeah, or well, it's one of my high school. No, these are both my college degrees. My high school's in my room. Some more decor stuff and things like that. Some kind of little, what's this thing called? Um, lamp or something they, that people left at the house. My mom's old printer that she don't use. Her sewing machine. This little Christmas tree. So this is what... It looks like this stuff is super dusty. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is clean this out while I'm down here. Because I can't just put stuff back. I have to clean as I go even though it's not her method. It's probably more of a fly lady method. I could just not put stuff back up here and it just be looking like this. So I'm going to have to, you know, get it together. And just get everything clean while there's nothing on these shelves now this one has stuff in it that i haven't gone through yet because it's not that time so i'm just gonna leave this one like it is for now why is this thing not focusing i'm just gonna leave this one like it is for now and then when we get to that road you know i'll clean it up or whatever so let me go get my cleaning stuff so i can get the cleaning and i'm gonna vacuum clean the cobwebs and things like that and um i'll be right back
right, you guys. So I'm tired. I don't exert it too much energy. And I'm running out of steam. So I'm about to get ready to be through. So all of this over here is going to the hand home. We're not keeping it. It's all leaving this house. Except that little bucket that thing is sitting on. So all of this over here. These are the only little items that I'm going to keep. Because I'm actually going to spray paint these items there. The plate going to go in the china cabinet. These little things go to my ceiling fan. This is going to get re put in a different room. It goes to um, my mama's dishes or whatever. So I'm going to put it with her dishes. And then these items here are sentimental items. are going to go in my room into my sentimental box. And then... Her printer and her sewing machine are going to go back in there. I'm thinking about getting rid of this little ugly Christmas tree. I think it's going to get gone too. Yeah. Bye-bye Christmas tree. Sorry. You guys to go. So I'm going to put all of this up. And then we'll go back in my room and see what else I have to do for the night. Alright you guys. So this is my den after. Not big difference, just mostly the bookshelves are cleared off. Cause I really just didn't like anything on that bookshelf to tell y'all the truth. So I was just gonna have to build decorations when I get through and see how I wanna do it. But I'm all for plain stuff right now because I've been cluttered for so long it don't even matter if nothing up there. When I really get ready to redecorate each room, it'll get it'll get its due. Oh, I need to get rid of that clock right there because it don't work anyway. So, let's go check on my sink. Alright, you guys. Nobody's home tonight but me. So, nobody's used the sink today at all. So, it's still shining. Still looking good. So, happy, happy sink. I'm really enjoying this clean sink. Every time I come in here, my sink is clean. So, they really helping us out in the house. I really appreciate it. So, Let's go do our little chores tonight for our room. All right, you guys. I know I'm looking real rough today, but I already told y'all why I'm looking rough. So that's why I haven't really been on camera too much today. Not like a close-up because I know y'all like, girl, you're looking real scary right now. I apologize for looking like I'm looking. But I need to do, okay, so the 15-minute declutter we're supposed to do today, I take the den as being a declutter. So that's my 15 minutes. And so I need to do a five minute room rescue in here because I need to really sweep my floor. And I need to do four minutes of hot spots. Now my hot spots are actually clean. My desk is super clean. Uh oh, I can't even see that. My desk is super clean. And so is my dresser. I'm being super lazy today. I'm laying down. Sorry. I told y'all I'm still winded. Um, so we're just gonna spend those, I guess nine minutes getting my room together um because tomorrow i will be going to montgomery my son's school's having parent weekend so i have to be over my aunt house at eight to pick up my mom and then be over my niece's house at 8 30 to pick up Jalen, my niece and her dad and then we're headed to Montgomery. So in the morning, in order to get everything done, which would be a two-minute room rescue, I really want to do my seven minutes in the morning because when I get home tomorrow, if we, tomorrow's clip probably will be really, really short because um, when we get home, it's going to be like super late and there really won't be anything for me to do. Like I won't be doing any decluttering or anything tomorrow because I'll be gone. So most of it will probably happen on Sunday. So sorry if tomorrow clip is short, but y'all know why already. Okay, so let's go on ahead and do this nine-minute room rescue. And then there's a ton of information on our website. We do not need, we do not want you to get confused today. So go read the essay about using a calendar. Most of us use, most of us are calendar calendar challenge, and this essay is a way of making it. Easy for us to understand. Fly tip. Create a place for your counter in a high traffic flow area in your home. The kitchen and bathroom are two great areas. My calendar is in my bathroom because I don't have kids at home. Stickers make using a calendar fun. Children learn by watching you. This is the best way to teach 
hey child how to use a calendar they love the stickers tell y'all the truth she don't have to tell me about no calendar i haven't i don't know if y'all seen my calendar but i've been using a calendar since forever like i have a huge calendar and it's in my kitchen area for everybody to see what's going on who's doing what so as you guys can see i have you know it's old i haven't redone it but it has like september on there so i had labor day i had you know the first day of school i was off my son mari moved into college we had a bbu power hour um my ex mother in law birthday you know so i've always used a calendar so yeah you don't have to tell me the importance of a calendar i put everything up there so everybody know when what is what when the school is out when they're getting out early everything like that so if you guys don't use a calendar i totally agree with her and it should be in a space just like that where everybody goes everybody is always at that corner of my kitchen because that's what number one that's what the alarm is number two that's what the thermostat is and number three that's what the light switch is so they're always either arm in the system looking at the calendar turn on the light looking at the calendar or changing the thermostat looking at the calendar so i put it in a very popular place that they cannot miss so let's get to this nine minute room rescue you guys so my look seven minute room rescue is over nine minute how many minutes look so I wiped off my TV my desk and my computer I swept the floor can y'all imagine that we're on day 14 and 10 days ago my room was a hot mess like you barely could walk stuff was everywhere and now I'm down to these couple little boxes to you know sort out and especially this one this one just needs to be sorted out there's a whole bunch of stuff in this one but that's sorted the one at the bottom is sorted where is it empty i think that one's empty that one's sorted sort of and this one no it's this one is this sorted so yeah and then i just have this little stuff left over here laundry whenever we get to laundry day i just made up my bed a little bit and that was it so now I need to pick out my outfit for tomorrow and fix these darn shirts back and fix these shirts back that's not what I'm supposed to be doing so let's just fold this shirt back up of course I'm not gonna be able to fold it standing up I think I might wear this shirt tomorrow. I mean, I wear all blue jean outfit tomorrow for to go to my son's school. Let's see which one I think. Uh, I think I like this one the best because it has light and dark spots, and it'll kind of go with the shade of the jeans. So I'm gonna wear this tomorrow because I had to pick out my clothes for tomorrow anyway so i'm just gonna wear all denim outfit you can't go wrong with classic denim and then i'll probably just put on either my white shoes with the rose gold or my converse but i don't have my inserts for my converse because i need to get a new pair and converse you can't really walk in them bad boys all day because i'm flat footed and they're not best for people with flat feet not without you putting something inside of them 
So yeah, I'm just gonna fold this other one back up and put it back in the cabinet. Now that's what I gotta learn. So if you guys saw, that's gonna be the hardest thing for me after I finish the KonMari method and all of this decluttering and stuff. And you'd think it would be easy, but it won't be because I am one of those persons, people, I can't even talk, persons. I'm one of them persons, y'all. Now I'm one of those people who don't, now what did I do wrong? Oh, I'm one of those people who don't, Put they clothes back. Like if it hang, yes. But I love that you saw when my jeans were just thrown into the middle of the flow. And the funny thing about it is I yell at my daughter about that all the time. But clearly she gets it from me. So how can I even be yelling at her for throwing her clothes in the flow? But I'm a notorious for throwing my clothes in the flow. So we all just going to have to change up in this house. Like if I got to change, and she got to change too. But of course, I have to lead by example. So clothes are folded. I'm going to put it back. And we're going to read about day 15, which is tomorrow, which will be my short day. But I'm still going to do as much as I can tomorrow because I don't want to break the 31 day cycle. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So that's what I'm wearing tomorrow. Pick my clothes out. Hopefully go to bed at a decent hour, which I should. I mean, I have nothing else to do. I'm just going to lay down and watch a little TV till I fall asleep. So let's go ahead and read day 15. So day 15, you are starting on your third week, y'all. Third week. We've been doing this for three weeks. Can you believe how fast time has flown? It seems just like yesterday I was pulling everything out of my closet. Um, You are starting on your third week of flying. Each day you are going to use your control journal and your sticky notes to remind you of all the things you are learning. Your habits are coming along nicely and you're seeing changes in your attitude in your homes. I'm so proud of you. I definitely see a change in my attitude about cleaning up and putting things up after I use them. Except for when I threw them pants on the floor today. And um, it could, creating habits like getting my clothes ready at night, spending two extra minutes to clean up, decluttering every day. It's really becoming a habit that I have to do. Because even though I was sick today, I really wanted to be able to do my decluttering. And I'm so happy that I mustered up enough strength now. While I didn't do it for as long as I would have on a normal night, I still got it done. So I'm, I'm very proud of myself. All right, morning routine. Get dressed to lace up shoes, fix your hair and face. Look at the posted reminders in the kitchen and the bathroom. Read your fly lady email. Recognize the negative voices and change them. Put out your hot spot for two minutes. A five-minute room rescue and 15-minute room declutter. And look at your control journal, your posted notes remind you. Before bed, keep your sink shining, lay out your clothes for tomorrow, put out your hot spot, and look at your control journal checklist. Now, tomorrow we're starting something new. On your new week of flying, so on our new third week, we're going to add making your bed to your morning routine. Y'all, I am so bad at making my bed. Like, I never, ever, ever, hardly ever make my bed. <laughs> like, ever. So, this is going to be real. This is going to be a challenge for me. If it says, on your new flying week, you're going to add making your bed to your morning routine. If you will do this as soon as your feet hit the floor, you are less likely to forget it. After you make your bed, send an email to Fly Lady with my bed is so pretty in the subject line. Fly Lady tip. Having a bed spread that you love and is easy to pull up is the key to making your bed. I like to race making my bed each morning. The race is to the bathroom. She right about that because every time I get in the morning, the first place I go is to the bathroom. So if I have to go really bad and I need to hurt and make my bed, that's funny. That's funny. I fan fold the bed spread each evening to make pulling up faster. I actually make the bed while I'm still in it by making snow angels to straighten out the covers, then slide out the side without distributing, disturbing the covers. Then all you have to do is put on the decorative pillows. Every room has its own shining sink. In the bedroom, it's your bed. Okay. So tomorrow we start making our bed every day. So for the next 15 days, 16 because 31 days, we'll be making our bed. So if I can make my bed for the next 16 days, it will become a habit because, baby, your girl don't be making no bed. I'd be hopping up out of it be looking a rough mess. You saw how I look when I get home. It always be unmade. It's never made up. So that, that's going to be something new. But I guess it will look nice with your home. And um, I usually don't make up my bed because it's hard to make up my bed because it's, you know, against the wall. 
but I'm going to rearrange. After I get through with all this, I'm going to rearrange my room. So it'll be back over here where it's supposed to go in between these windows. I just do that to give me a lot more space. And the reason why I used to move my bed so I could have a lot more space was because I had too much shit in my room. So it didn't look like I had a lot of space but I had too much stuff. And I'm also going to be downsizing my bed soon to a queen and getting rid of the, getting rid of this whole bedroom suit and just have a queen size bed in here because I don't need no it ain't even a king y'all I have a California king like I got triple the space up in here for my little old self so I'm gonna downsize to a queen bed real soon and hopefully I can do that either by the end of the year or the beginning of next year so I hope to be able to do that so yes, thank you guys so much for joining me for um, the challenge day 14. Let me know in the comments below how you're doing so good. Are you sticking to your routines? Have you skipped any days? Have you had any good or bad days? Um, how is your house looking? Are you getting things in order? Are you, you know, decluttering well? How many bags and how many trips have you taken to the Hannah home? Because I want to say in this last 15 days, I've been to the Hannah home at least eight times okay in 15 days i've been to hannah home eight times with with truckloads full of stuff like books and shoes and purses and clothes and home decor and dishes i mean it's just they just know me at the thrift store now because i'm up in there every week multiple times a week so i hope you have a good day and i'll see y'all in the morning bye